How many people are still without power right now? Uh, so crews have done a tremendous job so far restoring to nearly 480,000 customers, but there's still 150,000 customers across central and eastern Ontario without power today. How long do you think it will be before power is restored to everyone? Uh, so between now and the next few days, people will continue to get their power on. Um, estimated times of restoration are individualized. So we've got, you know, maps, apps, and, and people can call in to get those latest times as they affect their particular outage. So we understand that crews have been coming in from Toronto as well as from New Brunswick. On a scale of damage, have you ever seen anything like this before? Can you put it into perspective for us? You know, that's a great question, Marcia. And we have longstanding employees and they cannot recall seeing damage this severe. Um, you know, we have a number of 1,400 broken poles and that number keeps rising. It was 800 yesterday. So as damage continues to be assessed, we the numbers, the tally keep rising. We have four downed transmission towers in Ottawa. So, so no, this is very unique, um, and and it's the destruction is incredible. Incredible, yeah. I mean, the pictures uh, just take your breath away. So, does that mean? Do you think that more crews are going to be called in from elsewhere across the country, or even from the states? Uh, so we're, we put the call out and we're accepting everyone who's coming to help us right now. Uh, and I like that you brought this up because we do want to acknowledge we're not doing this alone. There are currently uh, approximately 500 extra set of hands who are helping us in the hardest hit areas. And we do have crews across Ontario that have obviously been mobilized. And as you know, even Southern Ontario continues to have some outages, when they're cleaned up, they'll be moving over to assist. So we continuously um, are moving people around and our crews are passionate. This is what they love to do. And they're not going to stop until everyone's back on. And I want to ask you a question about those lines. Um, our reporter, Mike Le Couture, just showed us some um, of the, the lines that are across people's property, wrapped around trees. What's your advice to homeowners who want to start cleaning up right now? Do you avoid those, those trees and branches that have lines around them? What do you say to folks? Uh, absolutely. I won't lie. My heart sort of stopped for a second when I saw how close he was um, uh, when he's reporting. We don't you can't tell if those lines have power going through them. So it's incredibly dangerous. Uh, we do ask people to stay at least 10 meters away. That's the length of three school buses to give you some context um, and report them to 911 and the utility if you haven't already. Uh, it's just there have been, you know, fatalities for other reasons, and we don't want anyone getting hurt because they've come in contact with a live line. Ten meters away. Okay, great advice. Tiziana, thank you so much. We'll stay in touch with you as we watch for power to be restored uh, following that deadly weekend storm.